What if our solar system once looked very different, with mysterious planets that were never discovered? Missing worlds are hypothetical celestial bodies such as Theia, Planet 5, or Nemesis that may have shaped our cosmic structure. Some are said to have created the moon, others are thought to explain the chaos of the asteroid belt, and one may even have triggered mass extinctions. On the threshold between science and fantasy, an epic journey begins to what is missing and to what may never have been, but would have changed everything. Our image of the solar system is not static. It's the result of centuries of observation, insight, and many errors. Even today, we probably have only a small idea of what is really out there, and we are experiencing constant change. In ancient times, the Earth was considered the center of the cosmos, surrounded by perfectly circling celestial bodies. It was only with Copernicus, Galileo, and Kepler that the heliocentric model prevailed and established the Sun as the center of the universe. In the 18th and 19th centuries, increasingly systematic observation of the elliptical orbits of the planets led to the discovery of new planets such as Uranus and Neptune. This expansion of our knowledge of the solar system was often triggered by mathematical deviations in the orbits of already known celestial bodies. Before the introduction of modern telescopes, astronomers often had no choice but to use a mathematical method based on the malfunctioning of visible objects, which led them to conclude that there were invisible causes. Thus, our solar system continued to grow until the discovery of the asteroid belt, the Kuiper belt objects, and the Oort cloud. These constant expansions repeatedly demonstrate how fluid the boundaries of our system really are. The discovery of the most extreme objects and minor planets in the Kuiper Belt took place only a few years ago, and we are still discovering more and more. In addition to what is yet to come, there is also what once was or never really existed. Hypothetical planets such as Vulcan, Theia, Planet 5, or Nemesis were once proposed to explain orbital deviations while others were seen as the origin of cosmic catastrophes or as part of a deeper planetary logic. Vulcan, the planet that challenged Einstein. In the 19th century, many astronomers believed that there must be another planet within Mercury's orbit, and it was given the name Vulcan. The idea arose because the planet Mercury exhibited an unusual orbit. Its closest point to the Sun, the perihelion, was slowly shifting and the laws of physics known at the time could not explain this deviation. French mathematician Urban Le Verrier, who had already successfully predicted the existence of Neptune through mathematical calculations, suspected that another inner planet was responsible for this disturbance. This marked the beginning of the search for Vulcan. But although there were repeated alleged sightings, Vulcan's actual existence could never be confirmed. The solution came not from a new celestial body, but from a new theory. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity explained in 1915 that space-time is curved by the mass of the Sun, and that this curvature can explain the observed orbital deviation of Mercury. This scientifically disproved the idea of Vulcan, but the idea of the other hidden planets continued to fascinate the public and scientists alike. Vulcan became part of history as a symbol of the limitations of celestial mechanics at the time, and later became the home of logic-loving, pointy-eared aliens in science fiction, otherwise known as Vulcans in Star Trek. Theia, the cosmic mother of the moon. Theia is also not a planet that anyone has ever actually seen, and yet it could be one of the most influential celestial bodies in Earth's history. According to the popular giant impact hypothesis, Theia was a Mars-sized protoplanet that collided with the still young Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. The violent collision hurled large amounts of material into space, which may have formed our moon. The theory could indeed explain many of the moon's characteristics. Its chemical similarity to the Earth's crust, its unusually large mass relative to the Earth, and the dynamics of the Earth-Moon system. Simulations show that such collisions were quite common in the early solar system, 
and that Thea was probably just one of many planetary companions of the Earth, which at that time were still orbiting the Sun in chaotic orbits. Although this sounds plausible, the existence of Thea remains hypothetical. There are no direct traces of this planet to date, only some evidence of its possible deed. Promising models have shown that remnants of Thea could still be hidden deep in the Earth's mantle, and researchers have already researched for these traces in geochemical anomalies or thermal peculiarities, so far, however, without success. Planet 5 – The Never-Born World Collider Planet 5 is another exciting celestial body that may once have existed between Mars and Jupiter. The planet may have orbited in the early days of the solar system, right where the asteroid belt is located today. The idea stems from the observation that the gap between Mars and Jupiter appears unusually large. Where statistically another planet should actually be located, a wide belt of debris orbits the Sun. Since there is no coherent explanation for the asteroid belt, its existence has led to wild speculation. One possible model suggests that there was once another planet between Mars and Jupiter that was shattered in a violent collision and whose fragments now form the asteroid belt. Calculations have shown that the mass of all objects in the asteroid belt is far too small to really be a failed planet. Nevertheless, some models of planetary dynamics consider it possible that Planet 5 actually existed. Another scenario suggests that Planet 5 may have been thrown out of its orbit by gravitational interactions with Jupiter or by chaotic processes in the early stages of the solar system. Either it flew into the sun and burned up there, or it moved into the outer solar system. The event may have been preceded by a collision, and the asteroid belt could be the remains of a fragment of Planet 5. This theory would explain why the asteroid belt is so fragmented it could contain the fragments of several planets destroyed at different times. Ceres, the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system, orbits in the asteroid belt. It is considered serious evidence that there may once have been several small planets between Jupiter and Mars. Nemesis, the dark twin of the Sun. Nemesis is the name of a hypothetical star or brown dwarf that was believed to be a dark companion to our Sun. The idea originated in the 1980s when scientists were trying to explain regular patterns in mass extinctions in Earth's history. The idea that the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was caused by a dark twin of the Sun seems strange, yet the theory is coherent. Nemesis could orbit the Sun in an extremely elongated orbit and pass through the Oort cloud every 26 million years. In doing so, Nemesis could hurl a flood of comets into the inner solar system, some of which could hit Earth and trigger global catastrophes. Although this idea is fascinating, this object has never been observed. Neither the latest infrared telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, nor the most recent sky surveys with Euclid and other high-performance systems have yet been able to identify any trace of the dark sun. Thus, the dark twin theory remains a bizarre attempt to find astronomical causes for violent terrestrial events. The extinction of the dinosaurs has since been explained by the impact of a comet. The crater was located off the coast of Mexico, and the Armageddon of the giant lizards was reconstructed almost perfectly through simulations. Planet X, the invisible architect of the outer order. Planet X is a true legend in modern space research. The idea originated in the 19th century, when irregularities in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune were observed. At that time, it was believed that another outer planet was responsible for these disturbances. Although Pluto was finally discovered in 1930, its mass was too small to explain the observed effects. So the search for Planet X continued. Over the decades, the theory has been revived time and again. It became particularly exciting after the discovery of trans-Neptunian objects such as Sedna and Eris. Their orbits are so unusually aligned that some astronomers suspect that an as-yet undiscovered planet with about 10 times the mass of Earth is influencing the gravity of these small planets. In the minds of modern humans, Planet X is often much more than just a speculative body. 
It is often treated as a kind of super-Earth in the far distance. However, it's doubtful that life exists there, because if this planet really exists, it orbits the Sun in complete darkness and thus in a cold that makes life unlikely. The search for Planet X is far from over. It will soon enter its next phase with the launch of the ultra-sensitive Vera Rubin Observatory. The question remains whether, after hypothetical confirmation of the Planet X, we would really be at the end of our journey of discovery in our solar system. We can probably be almost certain that this is not the case. The Kuiper Belt alone holds dozens of possibilities for the discovery of celestial bodies and other objects. The region extends billions of kilometers beyond Neptune and has already revealed a multitude of small planets such as Sedna, Haumea, Makimaki, and Eris. Astronomers estimate that there could be over 100,000 more dwarf planets with diameters greater than 100 kilometers in the Kuiper Belt. So, the search remains exciting. Another place for discovering new planets and shapes is the scattered disk, which originates partly in the Kuiper Belt and extends far beyond it in places. This region, with its extremely elliptical and inclined orbits, looks like a torn disk in initial representations. Some researchers suspect that it forms its own dynamic system, which is influenced by the gravitational forces of Neptune or even hypothetical outer planets such as Planet X, but is nevertheless self-contained and unique. Even further out, beyond the boundaries of the actual solar system, we encounter the Oort Cloud and with it another collection of hundreds of thousands of objects that have so far remained largely unexplored. All we know is that most comets that migrate into the inner solar system originate from there. As icy snowballs, they approach the sun, evaporating ice and gas into space, and the play of colors from visitors from the Oort cloud, such as Hale-Bopp, Hayakutake, and Macombs, delights not only astronomers. These exciting and luminous objects alone show how diverse and inexhaustible our solar system is, and we probably only know a small part of what is still out there. Click subscribe now, the best videos are yet to come.